Pat with Pat's Two Cents. We've got Pat, my friend Patty, sharing a funny story after she reads a few scriptures. I want you to hear this comical story. And then we seal the deal with Lynn reading scripture at the end. God bless you as you learn from this object lesson in life. Check this out. Romans 8, 34, 38, and 39. Okay. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that dies, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who made this intercession for us. Now we go down to Romans 38 and 39. For I am persuaded that neither die, nor death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come not height, not death, nor any other creature that should be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And I'm wondering, is that for everyone? You know, it's really not. It's really not. The right hand of God who makes an intercession for us, that in Jesus Christ, the us is us, the righteous, who've accepted Christ as our Lord and Savior. And when I came to that knowledge, I used to think it was for the whole world because he did die for the whole world. But we know the whole world is not going to accept and acknowledge and reverend his death on the cross. So there was a little video clip I saw of a man that went inside a store, that one of these stores that sell gadgets for your cell phone, cell phone cases. They also sell... Uh, other little gadgets and cell phones. He went in to rob them, and he was getting all the stuff. They're just praising today, and it was only uh, two ladies there, and he started grabbing stuff off the counter, and there was another customer in there with a baby with a stroller. They all ran out of the store and locked him in the store. So the reason why I watched this video clip, because the title was wrong. This is what the title said, Robbery Suspect. Locked inside, that's his store, prays and begs to be released. So I wanted to see him, like, change his heart and say, God, I'm sorry. Please help me in this situation. How did I get myself in this? Please forgive me, oh, Lord. No, he was not praying. He was pleading. He wasn't praying. He was pleading. He couldn't get out of the store. He pulled out his gun and started shooting at the door, at the locks thinking that he'd be able to break the locks to get out. He hurled himself against the door. He kicked the door. He screamed. He cussed. He fought. He broke the window. He just took stuff to break out. Oh, let me out of the store. Let me out. Let me out. And the owner and the other lady and people are looking at him acting like a wild animal in a cage. And he's yelling and screaming because he knows the cops are on the way to arrest his tiny parts. He was going to get arrested. So he screamed and he ran and he ranted. He finally got on his knees and prayed, Oh, let me out, guys, open the door. Uh, who are you praying to? He wasn't praying to God our Father in heaven. He was panicked and raising his hand, Let me out of here. Finally, the police came, busted the door in, he put his, both his hands up. No, he wasn't praising the Lord. His hands were up because they had guns and they were about to arrest him. So what I'm saying is that the wicked, unfortunately, God does not hear your prayer. It says that in the Bible clearly. First Peter 3.12, God's ears are closed to the prayers of the wicked. He was doing a wicked thing. He had a gun, he pulled out a gun, and he probably may have shot them if they weren't quick enough to run out of the store and lock him in there. So when we say nothing separates us from the love of God, that's for us who are in Christ Jesus. Just like we spoke earlier, God takes care of us in every way we can possibly think of as far as what our body needs for health, food, protection, wisdom, grace, mercy, hallelujah, glory to his name. 
I just want to say that if you don't really know the Lord today, if you know you're on the outside looking in, amen, come into the presence of Jesus Christ, your Savior. He looked down on that cross and interceded for those who put him up there. God forgive them. They know not what they're doing. So if you're wicked today, if you're not saved, if you don't know life, Christ Jesus as your Savior, you are outside that love that doesn't separate him from us. I'm praying that someone hears this and comes to know Christ Jesus as far as John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten of the Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. God died for all of us to be saved, and in his grace and love, I pray in Jesus' name, amen. John 9, 31. Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man be worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. Proverbs 28, 9. He that mm. turns away his ear from hearing the law, uh, even his prayer shall be an abomination. Peter 3.12 For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the faith of the Lord is against them that do evil. Psalm 66.18 if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. And the last one that I'm going to bring up, and there are many more, by the way, Proverbs 15, 29, the Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. Amen.